How are you, YouTube? George here. Hope you're all well. Okay. Now, before we get going here, um, this is not mine. The person that brought me this wishes to remain anonymous. And we'll get into why in a moment. Uh, I got a phone call the other day from a person uh, that owns this radio in an awful state. I think this thing is only a couple of weeks old. And... Um, Oh, long story short, he got into a bit of a flap because he wasn't seeing 100, 100 watts on the meter. He was seeing 95. And this thing is wide-banded. Um, so, you know, I won't go into any more detail on that. But um, he's seen a video on YouTube, I think, where... Uh, this fella goes into the, the service menu, which is a hidden menu. And you go in using, uh, oh, like a shorted out 3.5 mil, um, a 3.5 mil plug that you put into the remote socket and you press menu and function and turn the radio on and it brings you into this menu. So he went into the menu and he changed a couple of things. He was in no way uh, up to speed on what he was doing or the implications of it, yada, yada, yada. So the radio came here and I said to him, yeah, I can sort it out, blah, 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 blah. He'd done a factory reset and all the stuff that goes with it. And I went through all the bands. I just made up this little, um, have a... I have a TS plug in the back of it there and I just have a push to make here for um, for for the CW key. So I, I'm going into the dummy load here on uh, poor old Vanny's meter. We're on the 100 watt scale. So we're, uh, let me just move things around here. Now, that'll just make things uh, a little easier. So we're on... Uh, 160 meters hit transmit there 100 watts so we'll go to 80 focus forty. Thirty. Twenty. Seventeen. Fifteen. Twelve. I'll put it on to CW it'll be a help so there you go we've uh, 100 watts everywhere moral of the story and the person that owns this won't mind me saying this because I said it straight to his face when he came here he had absolutely no business doing what he did. Going into the service menu and twisting everything, all knobs to the right. You know, you don't need to, you don't need to do that with this. Even if it was only putting out, say if it was even putting out 80 watts. Or 85 watts or whatever. Like the difference between that and 100 watts, is not even worth talking about. So, you know, like I come have... Uh, I don't know how many would have been involved in the design team of the 7300 when it was being brought about. But I'm I'm sure that most of them will have forgotten more than a lot of us will ever know in our lifetime of messing around with radio. But, um, you know, 
you don't need to be going in there on the likes of a radio like this doing that like it doesn't make any sense it doesn't add up so please if you buy a radio and you know you're 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 going to be getting hung up about things like that you go off and buy yourself a big kilo amplifier or something like that and you know let the amp do the heavy lifting that's what i do um i don't think my radio has ever went past 40 watts um uh, no so there you go radio sorted out uh be collected soon and he's happy because he thought he was after damaging the radio and when he told me kind of the setup of what he was doing and and how it all occurred and the whole lot i was thinking to myself that the pa might have been damaged but luckily enough that wasn't the case so there you are quick little video um moral of the story if you don't know what you're doing leave it the hell alone um, you're not going to make any improvement no matter what you do to it don't care what anyone says so 73 and we'll get you in the next one bye bye